unemployment is one of the major macroeconomic indicators for india actually globally also but for india specifically unemployment is something that we just cannot figure out what is the status and uh, since there are so many data discrepancies and the population density is huge so we cannot get the accurate data and we cannot tell about the current status of employment or unemployment rates because of which we know for the fact that the india is facing jobless growth that growth numbers are there that we see or, or we are made to see but is it also impacting the employment levels or is it improving the employment levels actually it's not happening which is why we say we are facing jobless growth but all that kept aside uh, i actually came across a very beautiful article in mint and which is what i want to you know discuss it with you today because i really find such a good article such a good article as per economics perspective no matter in what field you are but this article is super amazing so just stay with me till the end you know this might be a detailed analysis but i i bet that after you are thorough with me in this discussion you won't face any issues whatsoever in you know afterwards in this particular topic so i'll just adjust the screen and then we can begin all right so as you can see that uh, hold on yeah as you can see it's about the jobs wages and work hours uh work hours why because uh, recently we are coming across a lot of cases be it the ey employee in pune uh you know who felt overburdened by work and uh, unfortunately she passed away and then it happened with hdfc bank employee as well so a lot of cases are popping in uh lately because of which it becomes all the more important to understand what are the working hours in our country and compared to the other countries and how other countries are fetching the productivity which we are not able to because of which we are making the employees or the youth overwork and then uh, you know our uh, respected ministers come and say that uh, you know uh, we should get used to it and uh, even they set an example of working 18 hours which i feel is not very great because every human tendency every human body is different you cannot compare two fingers similarly you cannot compare two people and everybody has their own limits and capacity boundaries everything which we need to respect i think too much of blabbering let's go directly into the article and discuss what's there uh, what i liked about this one so let's just study and i'll tell you and explain everything a uh, while reading okay so where the lab, uh, where did the data come from this is very 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 important okay i'll just highlight periodic labor force survey plfs and uh, this is this is a great great one uh, this has actually uh, spelled the data out and uh, what is the data it shows a big decline in unemployment so guys uh, while reading this article please make sure of one thing there's a coin and every coin has two sides every coin has heads and tails so if you feel oh my god unemployment has declined in india oh wonderful but you need to dig deep to understand that you're just uh, seeing one part of the coin or one side of the coin there's another side to it as well so try wearing a lens while looking in any case study or any article or anything if you watch any youtube video not only mine but anything else you consume so while consuming data content even a good content <laughs> informative content i am maybe giving you my side of the story and my perspective but there's other side of the story too so do not even blindly trust anybody just try and see both sides of the coin and then figure out for yourself what is your right because there's no universal right or wrong everybody has their own right or wrong okay it may differ from even even from your family members your right may be right and uh, your right may not be right for them but stick to your point stick to your intuition and trust your gut okay so that's it uh, that's actually a life lesson not only for the informative videos or for articles but even in general in life i think that is that is going to be very handy for you uh, i am talking uh, so see i learned it very late from my own experiences but i would say that you can learn from my experiences you don't have to go and experience something first to learn a lesson so try learning from my own experience that uh, do not do not blindly trust anybody uh with anything just every coin has two sides every story has two sides so try wearing a neutral lens please 
you are not always right or your perspective is not always something which is universal okay let's come back to the article uh, okay the latest periodic labor force survey shows big decline in unemployment rate over the years so there's uh, one story one side of the story is big decline in unemployment rate it nearly half to 3.2% okay sorry 3.2% oh ho this thing na this highlighter is been budging here and there okay so the unemployment rate was oh what this is pathetic i'll use the pen this is too much okay so unemployment rate nearly half 3.2% in 2023 from 6.1% it was in 2017 18 okay so we are saying that unemployment rates have actually nearly half however this poll is just one part of the story as told you every story has two sides every coin has two sides guys this is just tails let's come to heads now the plfs also shows increased self employment huge gender gap in earnings a long working hours for regular wage and salaried employees mint explored the trends in india's job market so this is what we are seeing we are seeing that there are there's a jump in uh, self employment because of which we may be saying that you know unemployment has reduced but uh, if we say about if we talk about the organized sector and particularly regular wage and salaried employment so it has not been increasing that well uh, it is just keeping up to its momentum and also uh, there are long long working hours for these people which is actually impacting their life and trust me long working hours in regular wage and salaried work are impacting employees life you know extreme part is that a passing away of employee as we all know which is recently the news is circulating which i don't want to discuss in detail but we have seen it with ey we have seen it with hdfc bank but it may be happening in number of places which is not being reported or which doesn't cross our alley day to day but these are the cases that have caught our attention okay so these are one aspect of the story but you know these are extremes that is why it is in the limelight but there are other aspects also even a personal life of a person is being impacted just because they need to earn but these people are making them work so long so long hours that you know uh, it's impacting their personal life their mental health their physical health and you know every every aspect of a human being is changing just because of these long working hours so we need to see in detail what is happening and we need to find a solution okay first part is identifying the problem then coming so see identifying the problem is not the only thing that we need to do we need to come up with a good solution to a problem right so even if you go to your boss even if you work i was taught one thing very uh, you know uh, i i have in corporate sector i have worked for a very short period of time but i was taught one thing that if you go to your boss do not crib and go with a problem always go with a solution to the problem because then you will stand out and then they they can trust you and you become reliable in a company so i feel that is something that you should also apply and we should also apply in our learnings so let's see the graph first unemployment declined sharply but was elevated for more educated okay so unemployment rate all over india as you can see persons with secondary education and above that is 12th pass and even more educated this is for them so it was 7.1% and the overall is 3.2% okay so yeah that is the case and then first we will go and read education paradox what is education paradox the plfs reports that 2023 to 24 release this week shows that unemployment rate for those aged 15 and above was steady at 3.2% it has declined significantly over the years even in the years hit by pandemic 2019 20 and 2021 the unemployment rate was low at 4.8% and 4.2% it was still not very huge even though the pandemic hit and we heard that a lot of people have lost their job even then the unemployment rate was not that low that is what this article is saying okay that's what actually plfs report is saying overall the uh, however the overall unemployment rate masks the stress in the job market for more educated indians that is that is something which is critical and that is something that i was discussing that you know the overall unemployment rate doesn't say and it actually masks up the uh, job market and it is not say, it is not telling you about how stressed the educated indian is 
while the unemployment rate for those who have studied till secondary school or above has also declined from double digits in 2017 uh is still remain quite elevated at 7.1% for you know secondary educated people and people who are educated beyond the overall figure has been pulled down mainly by individuals who are not literate or literate only up to primary level so they are trying in picking up the petty jobs and you know the jobs that uh, doesn't require literacy and you know they become house help they open so imagine aapke office ke niche koi sandwich bech raha hai ya कोई पान शॉप है या आप जाते हैं ना कहीं लोग जाते हैं एंड दे गेट मैगी एंड ऑल जूस जूस स्टॉल सो इट वाज नॉट द ड्रीम टू ओपन अ जूस स्टॉल नियर योर ऑफिस और अ सैंडविच और अ मैगी शॉप नियर योर ऑफिस इट वाज बाय फोर्स दैट since they are not literate and they are not educated but they need to earn something which is why they are doing this so they may be even overworked than you so you may be working uh, say a uh, 10 hours 9 to 10 hours in your office but they are working there for even more when you even when you leave your office they don't leave that space or if they leave that space they go and switch their job so uh, um, you know more than half of the people uh, so imagine aapke office ke bahar ek maggi wala hai so wo apna stall open karta hai 11 baje usse pehle wo car saaf kar rahe hote hain newspaper bech rahe hote hain so they do a lot of petty jobs just to earn okay this is what we are saying ki अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट अगर कम हुई है इसलिए क्योंकि मेजोरिटी ऑफ द पीपल हैव स्विच टू दीज डोमेन्स ओके फॉर एजुकेटेड क्लास इट इज स्टिल हाई यू आर नॉट गेटिंग सो जस्ट पॉज दिस वीडियो एंड टेल मी द रीजन कि एजुकेटेड लोगों के लिए क्यों अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट बढ़ रही बड़ी है या कम उतनी नहीं हुई है बिट इज देर इज यू कैन आंसर पॉज इन द वीडियो बट वन ऑफ द रीजन इज दैट देर स्किल मिस मैच सो एजुकेशन पहली बात तो हमारे यहाँ स्किल इम्पार्ट नहीं किए जा रहे जो जॉब सेक्टर के लिए रिक्वायर्ड है और या फिर आप इतने एजुकेटेड हो कि आप आई आई टी क्रैक कर चुके हो और आप आई आई एम जा चुके हो उसके बाद आप सिर्फ थ्री लाख सिक्स लाख वाली जॉब पे तो नहीं रुकोगे और बाकी जॉब में आपकी जगह नहीं है वो लोग कम सैलरी पे दूसरे लोगों को रख रहे हैं दिस इज दी प्रॉब्लम इन विद एजुकेटेड इंडियंस ओके फॉर होम अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट इज लेस देन वन परसेंट सो दीज पीपल हुआ नॉट लिटरेट फॉर देम अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट इज इवन लेस देन वन परसेंट दे आर एम्प्लॉयड वो कुछ ना कुछ करके कमा ही रहे हैं किसी के घर में कुक लग जाते हैं ड्राइवर लग जाते हैं हाउस हेल्प बन जाते हैं all these things the unavailability of high so see this is the part the unavailability of high quality job has resulted in steep unemployment rate for more educated right so अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट uh, सेक्टर में भी अगर आप देखेंगे तो ये अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट की भी अगर हम बात कर रहे हैं तो अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट्स भी डिफर करते हैं फॉर लिटरेट ये एक कैटेगरी है नॉन लिटरेट ओके एंड जो सेकेंडरी और मोर एजुकेटेड है तो इनके लिए अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट सबसे ज्यादा है जो नॉट लिटरेट है उनके लिए सबसे लेस देन वन परसेंट है वो कुछ ना कुछ कर ही लेते हैं काम करने के लिए ना मेहनत का काम अब आप नहीं मानोगे ना कि आप इमेजिन आईआईटी से ग्रेजुएट हो आप यहाँ पर हो और आपको आपके लायक जॉब नहीं मिल रही तो आप थोड़ी सैंडविच का स्टॉल खोल लोगे किसी ऑफिस के बाहर जाके इमेजिन आपका सपना है कि आप गूगल के ऑफिस जाओ पर आप गूगल के ऑफिस के सामने चाय और सैंडविच स्टॉल खोला हुआ है सो मोस्ट ऑफ यू वोट डू इट Uh, yeah see if you have to do it i am not saying so see and with this i would want to uh, put up a disclaimer that mai kisi bhi job ko chhota bada nahi bol rahi hu we are talking strictly as per the article and the perspective so i'm not saying ki aap chaios bana doge or uh, you know a brand bana doge and shops khol loge because you can go with that also you can open your own brand but aap ek normal stall nahi lagaoge jo jo wo banda laga lega bina hesitate kare jisne kuch bhi nahi padha hua that is what i'm actually i am doing the relative comparison all right and uh, then next is question of quality now we have heard about education paradox ki education zyada hone ka bhi ek nuksan ho raha hai yahan pe ki unemployment unke liye zyada hai to ye ek paradox hai theek hai question of quality mein kya hai the jobless rate has fallen suggesting okay hold on i'll put up put use highlighter to use the jobless rate has fallen suggesting availability of more work more work is there but what of what quality right so their quality may not be may not have improved in fact it has worsened since the pandemic as people began relying more on self employment under self employment own account worker employers reflects self owned small businesses while helper in household enterprises is mostly unpaid help within the household 
so that is one of the issues that even though the jobs have increased joblessness has reduced but what is the quality of those jobs the quality is not up to the mark okay the share of own account workers has risen a tad from 38.6% to 39% these are own account workers okay their share has increased this increase in the share has come from a jump in helper and household enterprise a helper and household enterprises driver chef cook okay gardener or uh, just house help doing utensils cleaning utensils cleaning the house cleaning the floors so this helper and household enterprises the quantity of them the number of helpers and household enterprises have increased the share of salaried jobs has recovered slightly in 2324 it is a concerning thing because even after a strong growth rate of about 8% we have okay gdp growth rate about 8% we have the employment structure has not changed which is a shame and concerning thing okay then paras uh, jasra jasrai of india ratings and research agreed saying that people need to be employed in jobs with regular salaries they need to come into the regular salary class you can see the graph okay so what is there that we can see see this is light pink color the upper color is of year 2017 that this 2022 this 2023 okay so we see that overall uh what is this is it employment yeah distribution of workers by broad employment category this is employment so employment has increased overall and uh, helpers and household enterprises have increased from 13% to as you can see 19% so the major increase is there so as the article said that the major jump in employment is in this particular sector regular it should be in this one regular wage salaried people should the number should increase that's what we are saying but it has actually marginally declined from this people are and this is also declined casual labor is also declining from both the declining people are choosing to go to this sector okay so that accounts for the major jump you understand where i'm coming from all right let's go to the next thing now we'll talk of gender female force what is happening as i said every coin has two sides so i'll give you the crux of what this paragraph is saying this paragraph would say that female workers are participating more first let's see the graph female presence in labor market has increased okay see oh what happened all right female labor force as you can see 2017 it was somewhere here and from 15 to 20% between it has increased to 31% so just seeing the one side like just seeing the tails you should be happy and celebrating but no let's see the heads now as i said every story has two sides okay so this is not something to celebrate that women participation is increasing in labor force no because why because the participation of the labor force is increasing but where is it going it's actually going in this particular sector see blue segment has increased pink segment has increased which is blue and pink it is own account worker or helper in household but the casual workers and the regular wage salaried increase should have been here regular salaried but regular salaried female employees are reducing and the number of female workers in own account as own account workers or as helper in household enterprises is increasing which should not be the case why is it happening because still so see all these things are still related to culture in one or the other sense because indian culture as we get to know on the face of it just uh, is very fake and i would say that when we say that you know times have changed girls are educated and even after marriage girls are uh, you know being allowed by their in laws to work first of all who are they to allow a girl to work or not to work okay we should not why because if somebody is getting married both the people are equal right the girl and the guy is equal why don't we say that ye bolne mein acha lagta hai asli mein aisa nahi hota bas ladki aa rahi hai to usse hi adjust karna hai usko job chhodni hai ya kal ko bacche ho gaye to wo bachcha sambhale pehle usko kon raise karega aise uske baad time mile to thoda bahut padha le thoda bahut kaam kar le kyun why you know that is a strict question that man should raise of oh, the people who speak like i am speaking right now most of you will come to me कि ओ क्या बोल रहे हो ये थोड़ी होता है तो करना ही पड़ता है किसने डिसाइड किया करना पड़ता है 
फिर पढ़ा लिखा क्यों रहे हो लड़की को अगर उसके बाद घर ही बिठाना है और परमिशन नहीं मांगनी है लोगों से कि ओ क्या मैं काम कर लू ओ अच्छा इस टाइम में ये कर लू अच्छा मैं वो कर लू बाय a guy in a marriage is not asking for permission if he can go to work or not so why a woman should ask for permission right but our culture has not evolved i would say it has worsened with time and trust me when i say this that the people who are who don't have so much of money or who are living in villages are much more open minded these days बिकॉज एक ऑटो वाला अपनी बेटी को पढ़ा रहा है तो वो अपनी बेटी को ऐसे ऐसी पोस्ट पे डालता है कि वो उसे फोर्स नहीं करता है एंड देन दे स्ट्रिक्टली स्टैंड विद लाइक हमारे लिए बेटी बेटा सब इक्वल है राइट बट वी ऑन द यू नो द एजुकेटेड सो कॉल्ड एजुकेटेड क्लास एंड द मिडिल क्लास पीपल दे एक्चुअली ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ इट प्रिटेंड टू बी वेरी वेरी यू नो सोफेस्टिकेटेड एंड इज्जतदार एंड ओ हम तो पढ़े लिखे हम तो मना ही नहीं करते हम तो ये नहीं करते अंदर ही अंदर उनके घरों में कुछ और ही चल रहा होता है जो वो दुनिया के सामने मास्क करके रखता है सो दुनिया के सामने एक अलग ही मास्क होता है और वो मास्क उतरता है घरों में जब वो अलग ही कुछ कर रहे होते हैं सो द कल्चर हैज नॉट अवॉल्व एंड आई एम नॉट सेंग इट विल चेंज इन वन डे वन ईयर इट के नॉट चेंज आई फील यू नो एक जना कर लेगा दो जने कर लेंगे अपने घर पे बट ये चला आ रहा है बहुत टाइम से और हम बस बोल देते हैं कि अभी बहुत इवॉल्व हुआ है कुछ इवॉल्व नहीं हुआ है आई वुड से वर्स हुआ है और ज्यादा इससे पहले टाइम में ज्यादा लोगों को औरतों को फ्रीडम थी फीमेल क्यों क्यों आपके सामने डेटा भी है डेटा भी बोल रहे हैं कि डिक्लाइन हुआ है यार दो में दो में हम कह रहे हैं ज्यादा फीमेल वर्कर्स थी रेगुलर सैलरीड में यहाँ पे यहाँ पे रेगुलर सैलरीड में ज्यादा थी अब और कम होती जा रही है ठीक है इसके ओन अकाउंट वर्कर्स ठीक है वन ऑफ द रीजन कुड बी वेरी पॉजिटिव वन दैट वेन पैंडमिक हिट यू नो वुमेन कुड नॉट ट्रेवल सो मच सो दे डिसाइडेड टू डू देयर ओन बिजनेसेस अपना बुटीक खोल लिया अपना फैशन खोल लिया अपने कोचिंग सेंटर खोल लिए विच इज अ गुड थिंग राइट बट वाई हेल्पर इन हाउस होल्ड एंटरप्राइजेस और वाई ऑल टूगेदर जस्ट लिविंग लिविंग द लेबर फोर्स बिकॉज देर आर सोसाइटल एंड कल्चरल इशूज एंड फ्लॉज and trust me when i say that do not trust educated so called fake educated class because they are the most hollow people in this world they are they are just dual personality split personality dikhate kuch hai hote kuch hai andar se jo tabhi pata chalta hai jab aap unke gharon mein jaate ho bahar se kabhi nahi pata lagega bahar se unke apne relatives ko nahi pata chalta ki wo kaise hai but andar se pata lagta hai so all these cultural things have not evolved because of which a female participation in the workforce is really impacted i would say i just got into very deep discussion and trust me when i say this if you would like to have even further deep discussion with me on this particular topic i am so up for it so you can any day comment that you know we would like to discuss this and i'll be happy to do so i'll be happy to host a live session on this one but yeah let's come to the uh, paragraph now that for decades a low female labor force participation rate has worried policy makers but the plfs data shows a big rise in women's participation rate from 17% to 20 again one side of the story they are showing oh women force participation rate has increased oh it's such a good thing but where is this participation going in which sector consider this consider this please okay so yeah uh, but women are mostly self employed and the share in salary share in salary jobs or casual labor has shrunk why because you know even so a girl is uh, doing a regular salary job before her marriage but post her marriage her in laws are saying that okay you uh, leave your this job it requires too much of travel and too much of time you give there you don't have time for your house and your married life so do something of your own when you get time for 2 3 hours so that actually counts into self employment but that's nothing right so this is what is happening so you don't have to be happy seeing that labor force participation rate has increased when it may have not it uh, it may have worsened right so self employed self employment dominates female participation due to the flexibility in working hours and work from home option a share of self employed uh, self employment among women shot up from 51% to 67.4% while that of salaried jobs fell from 21% to 15% as you can see okay casual laborers also have declined however the share increase of helper in household enterprises is less dramatic rising from 31% to 36% in comparison to own account worker and employers rose from 20 to 
okay why because educated women if they are made to sit at home they will not sit at home why they were educated then so they try and do something of their own which you know may or may not be that profitable but at least they do something right so that is the data that's what the data is showing and what i told you was a little deeper issue that that is one of the causes i'm not saying that's the only cause that's just one of the causes but that's a very deep cause that no article would talk about because then once people start talking about it everybody calls out for them that oh kya sikha rahe ho kya bol rahe ho kitna galat bol rahe ho tum jaisi hi hoti hain aaj ki ladkiyan and all those people start coming after people so then they are scared and you know but i am no more like whatever <laughs> come after me i i'll have a happy debate with you i am not scared anymore yeah so let's come to the fourth part pay pain okay what is the pay pain uh, so see pay pain uh, it's like women to men earning ratio and still there's pay pain because women are working equally hard or even harder than men in same positions in respective companies but the pay is has still not been equal it should be the ratio should be ideally one that women and men if there is a post of manager the salary for both of them should be equal but salary paid to a man is any day more than the salary paid to a woman still the ratio is not you know uh, equal which is again a pain so that is also impacting the unemployment among women that women feel that yaar agar salary mein jaake itni mehnat karke mujhe bhi 12 ghante mehnat karke equal jo mera counterpart male hai uske jitni mehnat karke bhi agar mujhe kam mil raha hai aur usko bahut zyada mil raha hai 40% zyada mil raha hai to main kuch apne hi kar leti hu na that's that's also one of the reasons as i said ki there are multiple reasons but they, these are all interconnected okay so that's one thing you can see from here not even reading the paragraph you can see that you know in 2022 and 23 so regular salary job uh, the women to men ratio earning ratio is this and let's read first even as self employment has gained pace in recent years salary job remain the best earning category with the average monthly pay about 56% higher than self employment and 65% higher than casual so regular salary job are always higher because uh, when you go into self employment when you try and build something of your own trust me it doesn't happen overnight it takes a lot of time 4 years 5 years doesn't go anywhere and you know people who get overnight success that's very short lived i would say uh, because every every self employment thing takes time and that's why uh, people think that you know when they see cost benefit ratio so 5 year of self employment development when you don't earn a lot and 5 years in a regular salary jobs when you're earning hefty amounts every month so it's better do so and save and invest in other shares and all and get a huge income uh, as opposed to shedding all your blood and sweat and still not earning a lot <laughs> that's one thing that's why everybody prefers a government job also because you get all the securities and you know uh, insurances and sick leave paid leave and everything okay so yeah however the gender pay divide is quite significant in this category as well with women earning about 75 76 rupees per 100 rupees earned by men that is what 75.75 and 0.7 and ye aur bhi kam hai self employment mein to aur bhi kam hai if a man is earning 100 rupees a woman is only earning 36 rupees and now 34 rupees and i'll tell you trust me uh you know these people when you start setting up your uh, when you're into self employment i'll give you one example i'll give you coaching industry ka example so if you are trying an open offline coaching center you will have to visit to a carpenter you will have to visit to a painter you will have to visit to a lot of people theek hai ab ye log kya hote hain ye log uh, these people are not so educated and uh, if uh, as a woman you go alone to them and discuss they don't take you seriously that oh you're the boss or you're the you know you they they feel uh, yaar auraton se baat nahi karni uh, ladki se baat nahi karni isko kya samajh hai business ki ladke se baat karenge got it so women face all the more issues in self employment i'll tell you literally it happens so every woman who so be it example me so if i am going to those shops to open my own coaching center if i am running errands so i will keep my brother with me because i know for the fact that people will take him more seriously just because he's a guy even if he's not that educated qualified for example hypothetically i'm not saying my brother is not he's an mba but if if you know even if uh, he's he's not that experienced or nothing of that just because he's a male 
people will take him more seriously and that's what impacts the earning even of self employment sector that you know women earn only rupees 34 per rupee 100 rupees 100 earned by a man that's that's what this ratio describes so yeah let's come to uh, clocking hours which is a point of discussion these days and an issue as well lately questions have been raised over long working hours in the formal sector causing stress and work life imbalance actually work and personal life imbalance because people's personal life get destroyed just because these huge long working hours the latest report reveals that while salary salary jobs offer better pay and are of higher quality their employees work longer hours while a 40 hour work week is globally considered vital 40 hours uh, that means if you are going 5 days monday to friday and divided by 40 so uh, this 5 8 8 hours per day this is globally vital okay uh, but yeah salaried employees ended up working 49.3 hours per week in 2223 and 48.8 hours in 2324 the situation is worse for men so as we say men are paying uh, men are paid higher so the situation is also worse for them when it comes to long working hours they are even working 50 on 52 hours a week like you know divided by 10, uh, 5 and you get more than 10 hours per day and if you are somebody who takes 2 hours travel or 4 hours of travel then 10 hours work 4 hours travel 14 hours gone like that 8 hours of sleep you don't have any time okay so what would be your personal life what would be like let's let's talk real what would be your personal life no personal life right it's only work 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 which destroys a man's personal life trust me on this you don't have energy to you know focus on your personal life that is the problem and that is when your personal life gets destroyed and hampers your work life your work life gets destroyed it hampers your personal life and it plays on loop so issues are deeper than what we are understanding these are the major major issues these are destroying people's life trust me when i say this these are destroying people's life we need to address these issues staying silent on something okay delaying something doesn't mean that the problem has gone the problem even worsens it's better to address the elephant in the room and provide a viable solution this is critical okay so yeah uh, this is the data however the fewer working hours in casual labor and self employment have less to do with standard practices and more to do with underemployment in which more workers crowd into these sectors and aren't fully employed that is the thing and as you can see this paragraph also that uh, this is year 22 and this is 23 so for self employed hours th these are the hours and these are for regular salary wage so if they have benefits so they have problems as well and with that we have come to an end and this is you can see this is the data is periodic labor force survey and national sample survey office so as you can see this is the entire case and this was the entire discussion and i i just uh, went a little overboard and you know started explaining even the other factors as well and i hope it is useful because it's not that we need to stick to the the article only and we cannot discuss the real issues which uh, are happening in the society just because nobody else is talking and people will call you out and you know people will uh, not support you when you say this and just with the fear of that you are also shut down it's not that one has to speak okay so i know that i alone speaking will not change anything per se but at least it will change something for me that when i'll sleep today i'll sleep peacefully that yes i spoke for the right at least i could raise my voice for the right and i am happy with that and i need to when i am explaining you something as a teacher or as your guide as your mentor as your influencer whatever you call me but uh, it is important to with uh, bring facts data and the real situation as well we cannot hide from real situation just sitting in front of the camera speaking in front of the screen i cannot ignore the real issues which is why i bought this for you but yeah serious things keeping serious things aside guys share share your feedback please and uh, you know let me know that uh, how are you finding these videos and uh, like share and subscribe is the thing that i always say and uh, if you want something else please communicate as i said addressing the elephant in the room is the most viable option that we have okay with that i would want to end this video 
and uh, i hope you liked it share your feedback and i'll see you tomorrow with another one and uh, stay happy guys keep smiling be radiant create a positive aura and yeah that's it <laughs> bye bye